Hey yo, what's up YouTube, it's your boy, yeah, XTV, bringing you another video. This time, if you've already clicked the title, we're going to be talking about the Dragon Flight Talent. We're going to go over what that means and what we want for survival hunters. Um, and just going to shoot this down, like, straight away. We're going to be talking about melee survival hunter, not range survival hunter, because I never played range survival hunter. And also, I didn't play Legion Survival Hunter a lot. Like, I leveled a hunter and I got Talon Claw. Um, but I never played, like, in-depth with Cow Troops and Fury of the Eagle, Expert Trapper, Explosive sh um, Trap and all that. But I did a little research um, on, on, on it at the moment. So I'll, I'll give a, a few what-ifs. Like, it would be good to have them back. Wouldn't it be good to have them back? But uh, this is just coming from my personal experience with Survival Hunter. Um, but yeah, uh, just lately, just a lot of been going on. Got COVID, have a pinched nerve in my back, so it's really hard to sit down over the last two weeks. But it's been getting better. So hopefully, I can make a return uh, back to streaming and back to creating content uh, because there's going to be a whole lot of things coming up. Um, and also, I want to talk about like Mythic Plus, like so if I want to too. But um, this one, Dragon Dragon Flight. Um, again, always drop a comment below um, what you want back in uh, Dragon Flight as Survival Hunter, um, because I'm really excited. I'm really excited. But you know, what? short videos of great videos. Let's get to it. Um, and yeah. Alrighty then, let's just let's just quickly let's go over them. So in Dragonflight, uh, talent trees are coming back. Uh, you're going to have two trees. One each is your class tree, which is going to be druid, hunter, warrior, yada yada yada. And then you're going to have your spec tree, which is going to be survival, beastmaster, and marksmanship. And you're gonna every time you level up, you're going to be able to put points into your uh, hunter, and then you're going to be able to put points into your um, your spec tree. So as you can see, the only one that's available at the moment is the, the Druid one. And as you can see, <coughs> you have Druid and you have Resto and then you have Boomy and whatnot. So what I'm just going to move this over here because what I'm also going to do is we're going to just quickly talk about what they actually mean, like some very, very key points um, for talents. So you can't put all points into one tree. Um, uh, this one doesn't matter matter too much the one that i really wanted to um talk about in here is what these ones what does the shapes of the talent point mean squares are active circles are passive octagons are choice nodes where you get to pick a multiple options and, and then when you look down here what are the diamond shape abilities on the side of the tree they are a mechanic trait so uh, as you can see you have nature swiftness um, and tranquility so what I, what I really, really want to talk about, and when I, if I can just move this one here. Actually move this one, yep, yeah. okay. So it, just say we look at Druid. Con, um, con, convoke the Spirit has an arrow, and Flourish has an arrow. That, what this means is that there is potentially one, two, Three, well, there's multiple options for you to go into these. So that means for Druid, per se, um, Convoke could be here, Adaptive Swarm could be here. Um, I actually don't know what else. Would, I'd have to think about it more. But if you get, if you get my drift, and what we're going to do is we're going to take that knowledge and actually bring it into Survival Hunter. So... This is how the talent tree works, pretty much. Any any ones with these have a have a little option. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with the latest um, expansion, which is Shadowlands, of course. In Shadowlands, you have four covenants, and each four covenant uh, covenants come with a different ability. Uh, so you we're starting with uh, the Necrolords, which have Death Chakram, which is probably my favorites, uh, and then you have Wild Spirits. Uh, for Night Fae, uh, Resonating Arrow for Kyrian, and then you have Flayed Shot for Venthyr. So, 
if if we take those four covenants and we're looking at it's like which ones like are the most impactful for for survival hunter and again this is uh, coming from me and what I, I i sort of want for survival out of all of them i think if we even and then we take into this an account as like for for druid right so if potentially we bring all these back i wouldn't have flayed shot back and this might seem bad but i wouldn't have resonating arrow back because resonating arrow only works well because you're getting the cooldown on it and i don't think ha hammer of genesis is going to come back or a fused emitter is going to come back so it just that makes resonating arrow not higher of a priority whereas you have wild spirits still there which is a base uh two minute cooldown which does aoe and single target damage but i believe they what they should do is also remove the normal chakrams let me go to my well remove chakrams and replace it with death chakram personal opinion that's what i believe that they should bring in or change for survival hunter um even if it's not um an ending point um spell wise but i believe those two spells are the only ones from shadowlands that they should bring back um again that's my personal preference one tev is going to help uh with pvp uh in, in dragonflight because you gain extra damage whoops Wrong, wrong spell you gain like physical damage which is your pet and yourself so you get a, like a little bit more of a burst window and the death chakram stack up on top of them uh should they bring back the actual unity legendary i don't think they should because having the unity legendary really is just for shadowlands and the covenants because we're working as one where we unified so without unity i believe only wild spirits and death truckums are my personal ones that they should bring back and in terms of um talents and legendaries uh they, that they could put in because you're going to get passives as well they should put in some laden poison injectors in here laden poison injectors and wildfire cluster like wildfire cluster has been a staple for survival hunter depends how they change it in dragonflight if they bring back cow troops which we'll talk about the legion um next but laden poison injectors wildfire cluster um yeah wildfire cluster which is also bfa <clears throat> that's been there they should stay and i i believe laden poison injectors sh should stay everything else should just go away pretty much but yeah those are my wish list wish list for uh shadowland survival hunter to be bought into dragon flight then i also forgot to mention one thing so in shadowlands you have conduits i think the only one that really needs to be bought back as a passive in here is strength of the pack strength of the pack when your cool command kill command gets reset you gain flat extra damage this is really good because you have a, like a very little window of where you can sort of get a kill command reset and then with your full set of course you have a extra 50 percent damage on your bomb so you like you plan out when you get your kill command reset you gain the proc you throw your bomb within the four seconds uh, to gain the increased critical damage deadly tandem is also what we're going to talk about in a very short minute or like a, a few seconds flame infusion and sting strike yeah i don't really care about those i don't think they, they should be brought back either but my wish list all righty then all right we're going to talk about bfa survival uh, this is where i fell in love with survival hunter uh, because no one was playing it and i was like you know what i'm going to give it a try mythic plus and see how it is and it pumped i fell in love with it and still love it now so that's why i'm making videos about them so we're going to talk about the azurite powers 
in BFA and what we want back. So we've already talked about wildfire cluster. We're not going to talk about that or latent poison injectors. But I think they should bring it back as a passive was Blur of Talons. It was ins insanely strong. They can uh, change it up uh, and make it not super strong. But what it does is when you use your coordinated assault, you gain flat agility over six seconds and stacks up to five times. As long as your coordinated assault is up, the more agil flat agility you get. Maybe they, can, they, they bring it back as a passive like early on or a bit down into the middle, but nerf it a little bit because that was re like really strong. You could have nearly 100% uptime. So I think Blur of Talons works well because then you can also, if they do bring back Birds of Prey, which Birds of Prey, when you Raptor Strike or Carve, your coordinated assault gets extended by 1.5 seconds. But we had a whole bunch of insanely huge haste where you could just keep Raptor Striking raptor striking and your focus wasn't going down so you kept that buff up so i think that they should bring that back um it was really it was good it's just a nice little big buff uh to us when we use it makes coordinated assault a, a little bit better you gain 20 percent damage but having a little bit more flat agility would be nice die consequence uh, when you kill command, you have a chance to summon Dire Beast. No, I don't think they shouldn't really bring that back. Um, duck and Cover for PvP Survival Hunters. Yes, they should bring that back. Nature Slay. Don't care. And we're just talking about the damage. Uh, primal Intuition. Yeah. When you Raptor Strike, your Critical Strike uh, is increased by 6 for 12 seconds. Stack out fire. So this is like uh, it worked, that worked well with bl the Blur of Talons. Because you'd be racked of striping a lot and you you increase your crit. Should I bring this one back? I, I think they should either bring this, just one of them back. Not both, but one. Because if they bring both, then it just puts into a... You get into a play style where you don't really... Well, you, like you stack it and then you just um, min-max uh, the 5 stack. But I don't think survival like these, they should have that. Um, Cell Shock uh yeah when you're turtle you heal yeah it's a it's a nice thing to, to have probably not one of your biggest things venomous fangs your pet's basic attack just deals flat more to your serpent things don't really doesn't affect your gameplay as much yeah it seems good uh and your wilderness survival which is uh when you raptor strike does more damage and it reduces your cooldown your wildfire bomb by four seconds should they bring that back if they don't bring back uh the two set in i think it's our two set yeah if they don't bring back the two set in shadowlands when your kill command has a 40 minute 40 percent chance for your next bomb to not occur then they should bring that back so either have the two set or wilderness survival just so you have more bombs to play around and also one thing which they're probably not going to bring back because it's a, as a it's a the power from your neck piece but please bring bring back meme beam i love meme beam meme beam was like my favorite spell in the game i love meme beam. bring back meme beam if you're gonna bring back meme beam bring back meme beam for everybody meme beam was sick i love it uh, and then the other thing within uh, BFA was, what is corruption powers? They're not going to bring corruption powers back. Corruption powers are stupid. Well, not stupid. It made you insanely strong. It was really fun when you got a massive rank six Twilight dev and you just deleted packs. That was fun, but they won't bring that back. <clears throat> so that's really everything to do with BFA and what I want back. All right, so we're going to... Last but not least, we're going to talk about Legion Survival Hunter. Like I said, I didn't play Legion Survival Hunter much. I've just read about it um, in the last day because I want to give, I guess, my opinion. So whoever played Melee Survival Hunter in Legion, please drop a comment what you want back here. But there are a few things that I would love from, love from Legion. Sorry about that. A little bit sick, but gotta get this out. So number one, explosive trap. The reason why I want an explosive trap is because all other melee in the game, so warrior, 
demon hunter monk etc have like a a big term of aoe cc you have leg sweep you have an intimidating intimidating shout or the one that makes them fear uh you have chaos nova etc so they're all types of different types of cc most of them are stuns but we don't there's no big aoe cc that like sort of knocks things away which isn't good but it just gives survival hunters another way to aoe cc if there are a whole lot of casts going out you throw it down it does some damage and then it knocks them all knocks them all away i wouldn't want the the knock to be like 20 yards or 10 yards just like a little bump so you, all the ads are still together so which you can aoe dps but i think explosive trap would be really good to have um in the talent tree so we just have another form well we have a form of aoe cc <coughs> so i think explosive trap would be good um dragon's fire grenade probably we wouldn't want this one back because it's a talent um but i think i think there was uh where was it there was like cow troops or some, some shit right there was cow troops where you could throw um <coughs> spikes on the floor which does damage and it, um it puts a bleed on everyone so cow troops would um maybe replace tar trap instead which would be good um <coughs> and if we going down i don't know what so if we go down we look at expert trapper expert trapper just made your traps better right um maybe you could have that if you bring cow troops back and you bring explosive trap back um you could have expert trapper as a passive i don't think aspect of the the beast or spitting cobra is going to be any good butchery i think butchery should replace carve baseline i love butchery the butchery animation is sick I, i'm just going to tell you butchery right here and if you can see me uh, look at that I'm gonna move my game I'm gonna move the screen like butchery has one of my favorite animations look at that like it does a mad spin and has his aoe <clears throat> so i think butchery should 100 percent be baseline um and if we're looking at the talents there are right so like i mentioned cow troops cow troops replaces tar trap um post days travel they're all whatever it is <coughs> and either we keep have alpha predator as baseline or it becomes a it becomes a talent like having two charges of kill command just makes survival play a lot well and then you can have maybe even uh vipers venom um as a t as a as a passive instead but yeah i don't know too much about um legion uh survival hunter and of course the the other one sorry i, I forgot to mention <laughs> was uh fear of the eagle uh fear of the eagle, eagle does like a, a cone attack where you sort of like he's throwing out eagles and the damage increase by how many stacks of mongoose fury you have so every time your mongoose bite up to five gains extra damage when you have it stacked when you use fury of the eagle it does even more damage so i think fury of the eagle should actually come back to fury well fury of the eagle should come back if they make mongoose bite baseline which i think they should so gaining fury of the eagle back would be hella cool um because then you have mongoose bite as a baseline but yeah they they only work well together. That's my that's my wish list, guys. That's my wish list. Again, if any of you survival hunter fans out there, what are your wish lists? What do you want back from expansions? And um, I'm 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 really excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait for ten point zero to come out and get to enjoy the game even more as we are. Like I said. Hopefully I'll be back. Uh, my health is getting better. Just recovering from everything that's happened lately. And um, hopefully, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back.